In the previous part, we already had the functions to create a new to-do, and this time we want to add a function to delete the specific to-do. So first we go to the mutation.js, and now we create another functions. We type export constant delete to-do, and this is equal to GraphQL. And then at here, we name it as delete to-do, and we will pass the ID and the type is ID and then we execute the delete to do and again since in the server side we already name it as delete to do so we have to use the delete to do here and then we back to the to do.js and since we want to get the delete to do functions so we have to go to here and use the use mutations so we create constant delete to do and this is equal to use mutation and then delete to do and then we create another functions called remove to do and this will bind to our delete button so constant remove to do and we will pass the id inside these functions and inside this we will use the delete to do functions and we will pass some variables and this is the id and after we delete the to do we have to refetch the queries and the query is get to do's and now we find that we do not have the id inside the props so we have to go to the app.js and at here we have to use the id Pass the id is equal to to do dot id and then we back to the to do and go to the rubbish bin the rubbish bin is at here so we use on click is equal to remove to do and then we pass the id and it said the id hasn't defined because we haven't the structure at here so after we save it the error is gone now for example if we try to delete this another to do and it said the server has disconnected so we try to refresh the page and then we try to delete this now you can see the to do the specific to do already deleted and it will refresh the page and we can also delete this just for debugging so we go to the form and we try to find the JSON and we delete this one and save it. Now we should see the debug text already gone. 